Hi, Carolyn Southwell from Human Design Basics. Answering a question from a student, Fatma, today. And she appears to be a projector and has asked the question, what if you never get invites to anything? So if you know the projector strategy is to wait for the invitation. So what if you never get invites to anything or it takes years and years for them to come and your bitterness is getting worse and worse every day? Well, the first thing I want to say, darling, is I feel you and I hear that that is really hard. Um, I am a projector, so I know I do know what that feels like. Bitterness is a sign as a projector that you have been not valuing yourself and that that's resulted in you being really really tired <laughs> i know that this projector will be really tired will be really burnt out um, a projector who's really thriving who's really operating on all cylinders so to speak um, rarely gets bitter um, however when we are not operating according to strategy and in our authority and in this case for this projector not valuing herself enough to be able to be in a position to receive the invitations um, the, it's hard uh, and that bitterness is a is our our body's way emotionally of telling us whoop hold up you're tired it's time to withdraw it's time to heal um, it's time to recalibrate into a greater sense of how valuable you are. See, when a projector really values who they are and they know that the right invitations will come at the right time, there's nothing to be bitter about. The waiting is joyful. In the waiting, we study, we do things we love. Um, but that's hard to hear if you are sitting in a space of bitterness, which is is extremely common for a lot of projectors. So, um, what do you do? <laughs> you go and heal the places where you feel like you're not good enough. You go and heal the places where you feel like um, you get overlooked, uh, where you get ignored. Um, the memories that you have of not receiving invitations, of um, not being recognized, of not being valued, of not being included. If you have a tool like EFT, I would specifically go and look for the memories. Which are the memories that, that really hurt of like, I didn't get invited, I didn't get included, I, I was ignored, I was talked over, I was dismissed. They're the, they're the memories that I would be going and looking at and going and healing them and making peace with them. Um, and what will happen is over time as you restore your sense of well-being, mental, emotional, and through that physical well-being, the bitterness will subside. You won't need it anymore. And naturally, as you come into a greater sense of your own value, then the invitations just start to flow. And then bitterness is there only to tell you when you took the wrong invite. <laughs> when you took an invitation where somebody didn't truly recognize you. So then bitterness shows up as your friend to go, hey, that invite wasn't worth the preciousness of who you are. That person wasn't really seeing how valuable and wise and amazing you are. So bitterness is not a... And bitterness is not your enemy if you're a projector. It is your friend, just like all the not self themes for each of the human design types. Um, each of us of each different type has a different emotional theme or not self theme that we experience. That is our um, like our barbed wire fence that we run into of like, whoops, you're a little bit off track. So the bitterness is there to go, hold up, sister, go heal those wounds. Go look at the places where you hold beliefs that you are not valuable, that you are not precious, that you are not good enough. And go heal that shit up. <laughs> go fall deeply in love with yourself. And obviously do the practical things that you need to do in the meantime. We still need to eat. We still need a roof over our head um, while you go through this process. So do what you need to do on a practical level to still be able to like feed yourself. 
And please make your number one priority if you are experiencing this like this Brave Projector has, has um, talked about. Go heal you. Go fall madly in love with you. So then when invitations come along, um, you're ready for them. You're energized. And you love yourself enough that you can go, oh yeah, that's a cool invitation. Or no, that one doesn't work for me. Thank you very much. Because that's what a really, truly empowered, vitally healthy projector looks like.